Hey guys, Min here. So today I'm going to review this cool little mic that was sent to me by Sabine Tech called Smart Mic Plus. Now, I actually did an unboxing video earlier, but I didn't post it because as I was testing this mic out, I found so many cool things, including the app that's associated with this particular smart mic. So take a look at the descriptions below, jump to the sections that's relevant to you, and let's get started. So let's open this sucker up and see what this is all about. All right. All right, let's see here. Okay. The packaging is significantly nice. Uh, the case itself got some QR codes on one side and just some labels and uh, behind it there are just some information but this I believe is the mic Ooh, it's very nicely designed so far there is a microphone there is the um, some kind of connection here let's open up the case here Ooh, ooh, look a windsock oh look cool this one also has a uh, monitoring earpiece which i really love about the other one from Librio, and got a usb charger and another foam noise windsock and some uh, instruction kits instruction uh, in multiple languages chinese english okay all right and what else do i get okay i get a quick smart guide Oh, looks like it seems to have an app or something. Maybe not. Let's see here. Okay. So, how do you connect it? Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Three hours later. All right. So, it looks like there is an app I need to download. So, let's check out the app first. Take the QR code and scan for the iOS app. All right, let's open up the app. And okay, so mic's not connected. So let's turn the sucker on, push the button. So after a little bit, pushing on the red button on the side, I got it connected. Um, so I'm gonna play around with it a little bit and we'll put it out in the field and see how this one goes. So I'm gonna try out the mics in the different noise cancellation or noise reduction modes. So right now I am talking to you with the on-camera mic or on iPhone mic. So I'm going to switch over to the different mics and we'll see how it sounds. All right, I'm talking to you with the noise cancellation off. So you can probably hear some noises in the background. Now I'm talking to you with a noise cancellation I'll set to level one. So I'm talking to you with noise cancellation level two. So I'm talking to you with noise cancellation or noise reduction level three. So I hope this significantly reduces that background jet noise in the background. Let's try it with the stereo mode as well. So what's unique about this particular smart mic is it actually can enable the onboard smartphone mic and also the mic that I have here. So I hope this actually sounds pretty good. Now let's go back to the studio. So now let's jump to an even noisier environment such as inside an airplane. So I will do the same test inside an airplane. So let's go. Okay, so I am on an airplane, which is a very super noisy environment. And I am going to test out the different noise reduction levels on the smart mic using their smart mic app. Okay, so this is noise reduction level zero. Now I am on noise reduction level one. Now I am in noise reduction level two. And now I am in noise reduction level three, which is the highest noise percussion levels. Um, as far as from the monitoring for it, I can't tell, but I think it's a significant difference. So this is the highest level and this is the no noise reduction level and this is level two this is level one and no noise reduction here and let's move back to the 
highest level of noise reduction. So I think even without noise reduction, it sounded pretty good, but uh, with noise reduction, definitely it sounds pretty great. Okay. So you just saw the sound test out in the field. And even without the noise reduction feature on this little tiny mic, the sound quality is actually pretty good. Surprisingly good, in my opinion. So let's talk about what I really like about this whole package and this microphone. First, I like some of the accessories that come with it, including two wind socks that comes with this uh, little mic. One is a foam, typical foam windsock that you put over the mic, and one is a hairy one that's for very windy days. It reduces that wind noise. And of course, similar to my uh, other little mic here, the cheapo one, this also has a monitoring port with a monitoring earpiece. That's, that's fantastic. You can hear what you're talking, what you're talking about. And of course, it comes with um, a USB charging cable. It's not a USB-C, so it's just a USB charge. Okay. So on this mic, there's one LED light and there is one single button. So if you hold this button down, you'll see the LED and that will allow us to connect to the Bluetooth. Let's see if we can get it connected. It blinks and it is now connected. Okay. So what makes this smart mic really special is not the actual microphone and some of the accessories, but it's actually the app that comes with it. So if we go into your iPhone, once it's connected, you go to smart mic app. It is just a camera app, but with so many more features, it is a vlogger or content creator's dream because let me show you some of the things that you can do with this. First, you have two options on the bottom. One is you can use a camera mode or even a microphone mode. So let's go into the microphone mode. So if I go into the microphone mode and just do a quick recording, and you'll see that it's uh, recording one, two, three. Hello, hello, one, two, three. And you know, it, it will basically count down and let you record. And once I record the um, audio, I can actually go back into this three hamburger stack and click on the audio track. Recording one, two, three. Hello, hello, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so that's cool, that's easy. But, and the sound quality sounds pretty good, but there's something here, it says CC under, you know, two, with two lines there, and it says trial. And I accidentally discovered that. And you select that, and you say, oh, what is that? Please select the subtitle language. Of course, I'm using English in the United States. And, okay, what does that do? And if I play it again, 41, 2, 3. Hello, hello, 1, 2, 3. look at that. It actually creates subtitles for what you just said in text to the, to, to the recording. That is so cool. That is just so cool that's inside this app. Okay. Another thing now we can do with it is there's a lot of settings you can actually tune your particular microphone. Now, by default, it, it comes with um, the microphone, but you could actually turn it on to turn on the, uh, the actual iPhone mic as well as your microphone and some additional external mics. So you can actually have multiple mics working with this particular app. And if you switch from auto to pro, there's much more features. And this is where you get the noise reduction features that we talked about earlier. And that's where you can go and switch from the no noise reduction to all the way down to high three level, all the way up to three level noise reduction. And this is where we can get from uh, no noise reduction all the way switching all the way to the level three noise reduction. Okay. 
Um, there is a feature in here that says mixing with music, but I haven't figured out what that is yet here. Um, there you can adjust the microphone gain. Um, of course, this right now it's uh, with automatic gain control turned on. So you can turn on the iPhone mic as well as this mic working in conjunction together. I find uh, when I turn on the mic, iPhone mic with this mixing together, it's a little bit too noisy. So I just, most of the time, just turn off the phone mic and just leave the this mic on. Okay? Now, so once we set up and tune all the microphone features we want to do, another cool feature that we can do is, of course, is the video recording. Let's switch over to the video recording and see what we can do with it. So one of the things that you can see is that this little red button here, not only does it sync up with your uh, phone with Bluetooth using this little button, you can also use it to use it as a shutter control for your recording on your iPhone. So I can actually use this like so, push the button and it will count down three, two, one. Hello. Hi, this is Min using this awesome little mic, smart mic. And from there, it'll record the smart mic information. And of course, I can go into the hamburger stack up here and see my video. And Hello. Hi, this is Min using this awesome little mic, smart mic. And of course, you can also go in and do closed caption as well. Of course, you need the network to do so. Um, another cool thing you can do with this is it has some built-in filters. Uh, you can beautify it and you can change it. So all sorts of things, Honolulu, Shinjuku, bunch of things, or even smooth out my face. So I will look younger. I can't tell the difference, but yes, you have that. Now, <laughs> one of the coolest things that I find about the video app on this smart mic app is it comes with a teleprompter. You believe this? It comes with a teleprompter. So while I'm looking at this, I could actually play, play and record. It says a new teleprompter function has been added to the smart mic app. So you don't need to worry about forgetting your lines when shooting videos. So that's that's all included as part of this package. That is so cool. That is really cool. Um, of course, when you record this, you also can see, you know, once you start countdown, you can see the, 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 the sound, the stereo sound bar on the, on the side of this thing. So pretty amazing. So that's pretty cool, right? The teleprompter is just awesome. I, I, I wish I found this earlier. Now, another feature that I found is pretty cool with it is that it supports multiple cameras. Now, you can actually go into this. Let me turn off the teleprompter and you can actually go into the settings and there are a bunch of resolutions you can set to. You can set to 4K, you can set to uh, 60 frames per second. So with 4K, I, um, I can only set to 30 frames per second, video bit rate high. You can actually set to dual camera mode or, or picture in picture or side by side. So let's do into dual, dual camera mode. I don't know why I can't, oh. Okay, I finally get it, why I couldn't slide over. So you can do dual camera mode. There's two modes within dual camera. There's side by side and picture in picture mode. So you can do that uh, in, in there. And if you do the uh, front app and back app, side by side, side by this side. is what it looks like. Hello, hello, testing. Okay. Front app and back. Now, um, one of the things that I, discovered is that okay this column here is actually the column on the on the side here it's actually just a label so if I want to switch is switching between the side by side picture in picture or I can scroll over to be off I just want to switch off okay now one of the things I notice is that um, when you switch into picture in picture mode you cannot do 4k um, yeah, so when you do 4K, you can't not 
do the higher frame rates. Those are things. And of course, you can also turn on um, anti-shake. Some of the responses on this is a little bit slow. Um, you can do different formatting. I'm doing MP4. And you can turn on grid or 16 by 9. Um, there's device management. Within the device management, there are the preview mode. You can change the format of the audio recording. Um, you can change what you want to do with the click here. Um, double click on on off button you can actually switch the cameras between front and back or you can do just to uh, use a shutter release for this i'm currently set to shutter release and i don't know what ai pod it means so i will have to look that up with all these fancy features you're probably wondering does this mean that this particular microphone only work with this particular smart mic app the answer is no. So I actually tried it with Filmic Pro. So within Filmic Pro, you can actually go into Filmic Pro and select the Bluetooth app by going to the Gearbox Audio and you can select Bluetooth microphone and you can actually see that the smart mic actually shows up. That's great. I love Filmic Pro. You can also use it with my gimbal. And the gimbal app is the uh, the DJI MIMO app, it also work with this uh, microphone. Now, one of the things that it does not work well, of course, is the native app. The native app by default does not pick up this Bluetooth wireless mic. Unlike when you have an adapter and connect into this mic, it by default will pick it up. So that leads me to a few things that I find kind of bad about this particular uh, microphone. So first, let's talk about connection. The Bluetooth connection, if you're doing it with everything filming with just the iPhone, it's fantastic. But unfortunately, if you want to do this, this one particular mic, if you want to connect to your maybe SLR or anything else to use the recording, then this particular microphone is a little bit difficult because you need another one. You need two of these to do that. And you need another cable to do that as well. Now, that's not a big deal if you're just doing, um, if you're just doing social medias with your iPhone. That's fantastic. This is fantastic. The second thing is there are a few bugs within this app. In the Smart Mat app, uh, one of the things that's very obvious that's an issue, of course, is the touch. We, we saw that, you know, there's a little bit of touch functions when you're changing the features on there. It, it doesn't very responsive. But also when you try to switch the, the app, this, the cameras themselves, the labels are wrong. There's wide, tele, and zoom. And if you click on zoom, it actually shows you a wide. If you click on wide, it actually shows you a zoom. And tele is is it's even more zoom so the, the the labels are wrong and then also it just when you try to do mass download or anything like that for for this if we select the app for the files themselves if you want to select multiple ones to say hey i want to import it into my my camera roll it doesn't easily allow you to do that you need to actually go into each individual clips to download it into the camera roll. Now there is something that's kind of cool because you can actually use it and create a, a HTTP server where you can f uh, use your network and then go into this app to grab the files, which is crazy. There's an HTTP server there inside this particular app, but you can't multiple select and drop it into a Dropbox uh, file or even a file app or anything like that which is kind of, uh, kind of sucks. And finally, it doesn't work well with the native app. Now there is a workaround, but it is such a pain to do so. And of course it doesn't work with Apple Watch, which for something like a video app like this, it would be great if I could use my Apple Watch to control it and so on. I like the earpiece, I like the monitoring, but sometimes it's a little bit low in volume, so I can't really tell if the noise reduction is working or not. But all in all, I have to say, for under 150 bucks, what really makes this particular microphone special is the app. And I really like it. I really like it because check out some of these other videos I have that I'm using this particular mic. 
So anyway, I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you have any questions, please ask them below. I will see you next time. Bye.